Hi all and welcome back. Wendy Williams docuseries speculations were likely predicted by Cat Williams. Because it seems exploitative, many won't watch it, but those who did say it's terrible. Cat Willem Willems' misgivings make fans distrust the story. Sickness Act may hide Wendy's kidnapping and control. Wendy, born July 18, 1967, in Asbury Park, New Jersey, is a mess. Her NYC DJing and shock jocking made headlines. Wendy Williams got her own program in 2008 after becoming recognized for her celebrity feuds. She fainted on stage. A live Halloween contest her health update spread despite the ups and downs. TV ads, Wendy's fashion line, and novels are popular. Hello Wendy Williams, the documentary series title bothers me. Some claim the show exploits Wendy's mental and physical health and should not have been made. Privacy issues hinder watching. Media ethics aphasia and frontotemporal dementia impair Wendy's cognition and communication. Her Graves' disease and addiction complicate 24-7 care. She has Graves' disease, a misunderstood autoimmune ailment that may wreck your life, and lymphedema, a thyroid issue that causes significant foot swelling. The new Lifetime documentary where she compares Wendy's situation to Britney Spears' holy conservatorship mess. Wendy Williams' Wendy said her conservator and management drove her into treatment, like Britney Spears in 2019. In May 2022, New York lawyer Sabrina Maciej guarded Wendy's money. Wendy is under interim guardianship to prevent financial abuse because her financial advisor indicated she wasn't upstairs. Wendy's financial guardians allegedly held her captive and used the tape to portray her as unstable and needy. Before departing, Wells Fargo froze her assets. Concurrent BAM dementia diagnosis two years later. I doubt. Wendy's astonishing revelations about Diddy's DL lifestyle are old. What made her banned from all New York radio stations? A former Diddy security says he saw him ban Wendy from radio. We regretted Wendy being in Philly after landing. When Wendy leaked embarrassing images, Diddy advised CEOs to switch radio stations to eliminate her. It succeeded. Stations show height, did Diddy want Wendy Williams to cease exposing him? Wendy accuses Diddy of torturing Cassie in hiding for years, like a thriller. Diddy was upset with Wendy in the 1990s when she worked at Hot 97 and Bad Boy Records grew. Diddy summoned a posse to attack her at work, appearing mature. You believe? Resting, he watches. Wendy kept going even though Total was waiting downstairs to throw her. Wendy rejected ground Diddy's attempt to muzzle her. It's back after Wendy Williams from Once Upon a Time was burned at the AK for discussing it. Wendy posted a photo of Justin with Diddy's opponent, Sue Knight, to shame him online. Diddy said his baby mother set it up, not him. Wendy's Diddy hidden bombshell was embarrassing. Rap game taboo, Diddy tried to hush her but wanted him with another man. Hot 97's top DJ was sacked for posting a selfie of himself putting on his pants. Puff had power, and Wendy dubbed Diddy dishonest and manipulative on Instagram for treating Cassie like an item after their breakup. Avoid social media. Though Puffy, media gave a huge off here he probably doesn't want her back. Wendy's never done that, but he probably treated her like property. A loving individual would look for it. Be quiet among politicians and celebrities. The public attack on Beyonce and Jay-Z was hazardous. Some blame Wendy's silence on overknowledge. What if her dementia diagnosis is fake? Wells Fargo disabled Wendy and terminated her accounts once her program finished. Guardians seem to control the plot and mute Wendy forever. We denied Wendy's lawyers claim that Lori Schiller lied to Wells Fargo. After Team Wendy fired Lori for illegal business practices, she aggressively petitioned Wells Fargo to fire Wendy. Wendy says in the documentary that her guardian stole money and her family doesn't know her health or location. Wendy confirmed this docuseries. Was a producer mentally fit to call? Her remarkable comeback unraveled. Twilight Zone like, all but Wendy act fine. Clearly struggling just when you think things can't get crazier, her guardian tries to stop the show from airing, but it still drops, leaving us asking, was it worth it? The executive producer couldn't reach Wendy's guardian after the documentary. Wondered why Wendy's pad had no food and other daily mysteries, while others assumed he was trying to rescue himself. Wendy's rejection hurt. Wendy seemed lovely at first but changed drastically. They should have stopped recording when she struggled, but everyone wanted her down. After much time together, we sought family feedback. They recalled Britney Spears' conservatorship, and Wendy's admirers saw similarities. Kanye West claims Britney's lawyer misdiagnosed her and kept silent after trying lithium. 
They misdiagnosed me, took four days to decide how much lithium to give me, and I declined because they were ashamed of the amount. Quite exhausted. It would not exist. He suffered terribly. We miss him. We adore his music, but Britney Spears, Michael Jackson, or whatever they did to her when she entered was exhausted. She was exhausted, but ten years of narcotics ruined her brain. Her scarcity is obvious. Comedy Scent allegedly gave Dave Chappelle antipsychotics. Despite attempts to convince me I required psychiatric medicine, I left early and hid my location. Hollywood celebrities speaking out or crossing boundaries is a disturbing trend. Cat Williams says he tried to tell everyone about R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, and Diddy before their dirty laundry was out but was silenced. Immediately threatened to close his traps, he's gathering secrets for decades. He knows your errors. We're fine since people ask why he has black balls. I value my purchases. I should know less, but they do. Why? You don't make me evil anymore. Wow, Wendy Williams didn't examine Hollywood deviants either. Fans question Wendy's medical claims and suspect foul play, such as bank account closure and isolation. Strangers now make her legal decisions. Wendy is okay with dementia medications driving you crazy. Fan alleged she was poisoned. Wendy received Orlando Brown medication from which doctor? What does she take every day for this diagnosis? Her career was based on distributing news, factual or not. Karma knowledge should be ignored. Everyone thinks her management was bad. Wendy works with Will Selby, a Brooklyn jeweler, art manager, and social media sensation. Will reportedly dated Wendy Hunter after her 2020 divorce from Kevin Hunter. Wendy denied romantic relationship, but in 2022, after her talk show was asked to manage her and she had plans for a podcast with Will, Wendy praised about their teamwork, stating Will managed everything and offered her a chance to return. Wendy Williams' son, Kevin Hunter Jr. said Selby and his staff are making him sick over his mother's illness. He hopes Wendy wakes up to discover their deception. Poor guardian. Safeguarded my mom as long as she has people. I know she's not improving. His dazzling paper spilled all the tea, I fear she'll die. Thinking about his mom and not keeping anything worries him. She wanted real talk interviews after returning bewildered and malnourished. Kevin is optimistic about Wendy's health despite the footage. It fits my new show. Kevin worries about Wendy's drinking since it hurts her and causes friction. They learned Kevin worried about Wendy's inebriation. Your beef with Kevin? His sole detest is alcohol. Her heavy drinking was alleged to have damaged her brain. Alcohol-induced dementia Kevin leaves Wendy in 2022 after she becomes guardian. Family should rule, he believes. Treat her well he wants the family to grow. Wanting to return Kevin cautions her that overworking could hurt her and that he'll conceal to protect her. She wants to work but is done. Selby stated they care about Wendy's well-being and that Wendy's guardianship approves of all they do. I want to put my mom in a location where working doesn't kill her. All that trash says they're not using her. Let's analyze that dreadful footage. The fragile Wendy struggles with health and emotions. Boredom makes me want to visit California. Wish for Lippo. Your hair and beauty are exquisite. I adore you. I'll spend two three weeks in California when we arrive. A fool who doesn't realize what's coming am I yelling, you're fine. Much obliged and sorry. I'll smoke and drink whenever. Despite crew and help, watching her fly alone is stressful. Wendy's difficulties must be addressed. This must be her norm. Wendy struggled. Wendy's friends, like Bethany Frankel, are discussing her health and shady management after hiding her issues. After bits and questions, I can't watch Wendy Williams' documentary. Her greatest dread is aging alone, disabled, and uncared for. Despite being surrounded, she is alone and exploited like us. Brittany, like